What's up, cadets? All right, we're on the third installment on how to play Star Atlas. And in this one, I want you to decide which faction you're going to play, or at least start to think about which faction you're going to play as. Are you going to be an alien, a sentient robot, or are you going to be a human? So let's talk about each one of these factions and why it's important for you to start thinking about which one to choose. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, cadets. So let's just take a quick glance of the three different factions. Um, so the first one on the left right here, starting on the left, is the Oni. And the Oni is a consortium of a whole bunch of different alien races that all live harmoniously together. Um, you're going to have, if you're into um, uh, player creation, you're going to have a lot of different options with these guys. There's a whole bunch of um, lore and different types of races that make up the Oni faction. It looks like it could be a very fun um, faction to play. The MUDs are kind of a territorial a faction. They're leftover humans that have traveled to the Gallia Expanse, Expanse which is the re, uh, region that we play in within Star Atlas. It's basically like the universe of Star Atlas. It's called the Gallia Expanse. Um, there's a whole big history of how the MUDs ended up where they are. And then we have the Oosters, which are cybernetic sentient, sentient beings. And they have a really unique history. They have, um, they possibly all might share a common ancestor that was an AI planet, I believe. Um, there's a lot of really cool lore that goes into all three of these factions, but there's a lot more. Um, as you can see, if you read right here on the bottom of the Oni, they have the advantages of stealth, scanning, and distances. And this does reflect in the types of ships that they build. Um, Mud, their advantage is firepower and travel distance. And Ooster, their advantage is maneuvering and hull strength. Um, so each of these factions also build their own type of ships, which you could buy on Star Atlas. And I believe if you're using a ship um, that one of the factions actually created, eventually, not now, but eventually you might get a little bit of a perk for using, say, a ship made by the Oosters and you're using Oosters, um, you belong to the Ooster faction. We're gonna start off over here at the Star Atlas Marketplace. Um, this is the main page. There's a bunch of different tabs that you can hit. Um, none of this is super relevant with the factions that we're going to talk about. But if you go down to one icon below the home page, you're going to come to what's called the leaderboards. And it shows the different factions that are in a race to see who's top dog, essentially. So right now, the mud is in the lead and how they're measuring um, the leaderboard is they're measuring the total asset value. So the MUD has an $8,584,762,000 asset value. The Oosters are about six and a half million and the Onis are at six million. So what it's taking is it's taking all the assets that all the players have in this one faction and it's adding it up and it's saying that this is the actual asset value of it. Um, there's a lot of money into Star Atlas as you can see. It's pretty cool to watch, pretty interesting. Um, the total um, players on each faction is also very important. Uh, Mud has the most. I'm sorry, Oni has the most, followed by Mud. And then lastly, the Oosters. What's interesting is the Oosters or the Onis have the most players, but the least amount of asset value. So at the moment, this is obviously my third installment on the whole entire how to play Star Atlas. And we're kind of focusing on Sage Labs. We're starting to focus in on Sage Labs. Um, when you first start Sage Labs, you're going to be asked to choose a faction. And that's why I wanted to bring up these three different factions. All right. So I flew on over to my Sage Labs page right here. I'm, I'm at the moment playing Ooster and which is the sentient robots. And the Ooster section is right in this area. The Oni section is right in this area. And the mud section is right in this area. And the way the team, the um, automata team who's designing Star Atlas has designed Sage Labs, they pretty much gave a nice even playing field. Um, so one faction at the moment isn't any better than the next. But in the future, things are going to be very, very different as far as the three factions. We're all going to be battling for um, our own little section of the Gallia Expanse. Um, I'm going to talk about that in a second. If you're interested in reading more about each one of the factions, um, Star Atlas actually has a their own wiki lore. 
and I'll leave this in the um, in the descriptions down below. You can read about each one of the factions, and there's a whole bunch of really, really amazing storyline and lore throughout this uh, wiki page. It's a it's a really fun um, read. We go over to Aphia. Now, Aphia is a is a really, really cool. Um, they're a guild that has a really awesome website that they share for all. It's very, very wonderful that they're not keeping all this information amongst themselves within their guild. I'm going to talk about guilds in a second, um, but I like this infographic that they put out right here. It's um, manufacturing um, features and um, we blow it up here for a sec. You can see, um, sorry, my head's in the way in this one corner, but you can see that these are the different um, types of um, ship manufacturing within Star Atlas. And we're going to be taking a look at ships um, here in a couple videos. But let's see, Pierce is a mud for the mud faction. Calico is where the mud and Oni work together to create the, the, the Calico ship line. Busan is for Onis. Ogrika is Oni and Ooster combined. The Visus is the Ooster. The Opal is Ooster and mud. And the Fimble, all three of them um, kind of work on the, that fleet. The Fimble Ecos, um, so the Ecos, the Bios, the Tufa and Fatali are all very um, special type ships. And Tufa, Tufa ships are actually part machine and part of this living rock organism and basically an alien race that actually makes up the hall of the Tufas or may, might be even more than the hall. And the Fatali are the most advanced of all the alien races as far as their technology goes and they make the rainbow line so they're they're very very unique ships the rainbow line so i just kind of wanted to um, point out this infographic it's very interesting if you guys want to go to afia.com their link is right in the description below and you can go over there and you can um, take a closer look at this and kind of peruse through the website they have just an awesome website with a ton of information that i'm sure you will find useful okay so when you're thinking about which race you want to choose, there's a couple of important, um, important factors to actually think about. Um, one is that when combat is implemented into Sage Labs and we get the actual full on Sage Labs game, you are going to play one of the three factions and you are going to be battling to, um, to build a bunch of star bases. And as you build star bases, the winning faction for each designated period of time, I don't think we exact know that exact period of time, is going to actually be awarded a gift. And that gift could be in the form of Atlas or Polis, which is something that's pretty awesome because that is the cryptocurrency that Star Atlas actually uses on the Solana blockchain. Atlas is the in-game currency and Polis is the governance currency. Um, both of those, I believe, is gonna are gonna be worth a lot of money one day don't take my financial advice i am not a financial advisor please do your own research and do your own diligence um i just i personally am a big fan of those two cryptocurrencies um i'll say it again it's atlas which is the in-game currency and polis which is the governance currency so let's just say that the lead faction actually gets the majority share of whatever the award might be um they do have <laughs> all the wallets do have to split it amongst all the players within that faction. So the key could be, do you wanna be on the faction that will win and get the biggest pot, you know, the biggest award <laughs> per se, um, when it comes to Starbase, or do you wanna be on maybe the lesser end on one of the um, factions that ha doesn't have as many people like the Ooster, um, you might actually get a larger share of that pot just by being, even if you're in third place, just by being, um, you know, not, not as many players within that faction. and. This was done by design by the Automata team. They wanted to do it by that design to try to even out, you know, all the factions. This website, I'm gonna leave this in the link below. The Intergalactic Herald is awesome. Um, he does all sorts of guides on here and this would really help you out to read through his guides also. It's all a lot of text form, um, but it's just very well done. It tells you how, basically how, what I'm, I'm saying in these videos, how to play Star Atlas. Um, there's all sorts of links to podcasts and different content creators out there. Um, but if we go to guilds and we just click on get uh hold on let's guilds lit guilds list right here there is a ton of star atlas guilds and some of these guilds are trifold guilds so, or they have you know three factions and so if you join the guild it doesn't really matter what faction you are you can still join the guild and aphia that i had mentioned before is a three faction guild so we can go to factions by guild and you can see right here if i click on mud
all right now so these are all the factions that you know if you decide to be mud you can join any of these guilds right here um like i said this um the galactic herald it, it, really really well done um website right here it might not have all the flash that um the there's one called the club it's an awesome um awesome guild with an awesome website and afia they have a lot of flash but um the uh but the intergalactic herald right here just did such a nice job with his um with his page making everything nice and concise and easy to find so we still have um, a lot of stuff to do before we play Sage Labs. We got to look at our ships. We got to think about designing some fleets. That's all coming up in my next video. So please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, the reason I wanted to bring up these three factions is because you. I just want you guys to start to think about what faction you want to be because when you actually go into the Sage Labs, if you haven't chosen a faction yet, you will have to choose a faction then. You can choose a faction before you even start Sage Labs um, by going to your player profile by linking your wallet to the Sage Labs marketplace. You'll be able to um, choose a faction in that way, but you also can choose them as soon as you enter the game. It's going to say, hey, do you want to be Oni? Do you want to be Mud? Or do you want to be Ooster? So it's up to you guys. Do some reading, do some thinking, look at the guilds. If you want to you know, decide to join a guild one day or if you're thinking about joining a guild, go on the Discord and, you know, cruise around there and see what people are saying and uh maybe even just look at the characters and see which ones you guys think are the coolest looking because you're going to be playing them for a long time um i'm sure there's a lot of cool skins that are going to be coming out for each one um the mud even though this this one picture of the mud i'm not it's not my favorite but they're um the muds are looking really cool with the um different things that they're coming out for them they almost look like um they almost look like, like kind of like cyberpunk um type type characters so star atlas is a big game there's there's a lot to unpack we have a lot more videos to go so i love you guys all i'm beyond the horizon i'll catch you guys later